Welcome to Bronze Dad Place. This is our bathroom break review of Wolson, Lords of Mayhem. Hiding in the bathroom avoiding work or screaming children? Here's a bite-sized review in two minutes or less, starting right now. Wolson, Lords of Mayhem takes the best part of your favorite Diablo-like action RPGs and smashes them together like a toddler with new toys. Do you like Path of Exile's skill tree? Bam! Diablo's user interface? Copy-paste. Maps? Check. City management? Yup. Runes? It's there. User testing of these features? Eh, maybe later. Wilson has a story, and it doesn't suck. The narrative can be followed, cutscenes are everywhere, and there's a few plot twists along your 10 to 20 hour path to the endgame. Thumbs up! Expect to see beautiful worlds full of bland enemies. Boss design is interesting, but there are too few. The world map is great and lets you see what's coming up. As you progress through the three acts, expect to kill countless hordes of enemies for the usual action RPG format. Wilson is classless, so you play as you choose. That is, until the min-maxers tell us what the best builds are. Skills rely on a dual resource system. Willpower builds over time, spend it on spells to generate rage. Spend rage or simply wait and it turns back into willpower. The spells you'll play with are randomly dropped and can be leveled simply by equipping them while you grind. You can also go to a vendor and pay to level them up or buy them separately. These levels unlock modifiers that change the behavior, damage, or damage type of the skill. The passive tree is large, like Path of Exiles, but I'd describe it closer to Final Fantasy X, varied and useful. You can expect that every three nodes you're investing in some major change to the way you play. Boot is the name of the game in a Diablo-like, and Wilson has a decent amount of it. I'd like to see more uniques, but those will come with time. One semi-unique thing to Wilson is the transmog system. Every item you unlock also unlocks its associated transmog. Dies are dropped by enemies randomly, and because of these two systems, after you play long enough, you'll have every possible look all on one character. Wilson knows how to make things fun, when it works. As it turns out, upon launch, many of Wilson's key skills simply didn't function. I'm proud to say I only died once in the main story, and yes, this death was to the Oct1 boss. After completing the story, you start a city management game. You decide what the city should build, then you build things in that building. Progress only moves when you play, so get slaying those demons. Endgame maps are relatively quick, but you can choose to continue to increase the risk and reward. Make it to the end and your item quantity and rarity climbs. Lose and you lose all the progress you made. If you're trying to play during nap time, you might have some choices to make. Given time to correct the sins of the release, the developers will create something truly special here. I look forward to playing again when the dust has settled and learning more about the endgame. But in its current state, with so much else on offer in the market, Wilson Lords of Mayhem is mixed recommendation. To see the full review of Wilson Lords of Mayhem and why it might be a good game for those of us with limited time, funds, or sanity, check out my channel or the link that's hopefully on your screen right now. Thanks for joining me here on Bronze Dad Plays. If you like this content, please give us a like, share, and subscribe. It really helps the channel grow. Have an idea for our next video? Shout it out in the comments and I'll be sure to respond. Till next time, see ya.